The Kumaoni language is a central Pahari language. Kumaoni was spoken by over 2,360,000 people but it decreased to 2,011,286 in Uttarakhand, primarily in districts Almora, Nainital, Pithoragar, Bageshwar, Champawat, Udham Singh Nagar as well as in areas of Himachal Pradesh and Nepal. It is also spoken by Kumaoni's resident in other Indian states, Uttar Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, Delhi and Madhya Pradesh. The central Pahari languages include Kumaoni and Garhwali, spoken in the Garhwal region of Uttarakhand. Kumaoni, like Garhwali, has many regional dialects spoken in different places in Uttarakhand. Amongst its dialects, the central Kamauni is spoken in Almora and northern Nainital, northeastern Kamauni is in Pithoragar, southeastern Kamauni is in southeastern Nainital, western Kamauni is west of Almora and Nainital. Almost all people who can speak and understand Kumaoni can also speak and understand Hindi, one of the official languages of India. Due to a number of reasons, including the predominance of Hindi, the use of Kumaoni is shrinking very rapidly. UNESCO's Atlas of the World's Languages in Danger designates Kumaoni as language in the unsafe category and which requires consistent conservation efforts. <laughs> <laughs> Dialects of the Kumaoni language Although dialects of Kumaoni do not vary as greatly as neighboring Garhwali dialects, there are several dialects spoken in the Kumaon region. There is not single accepted method of dividing up the dialects of Kumaoni. Broadly speaking, Kali or Central Kumaoni is spoken in Almora and northern Nainital. Northeastern Kumaoni is spoken in Pithoragar. Southeastern Kumaoni is spoken in southeastern Nainital. Western Kumaoni is spoken west of Almora and Nainital. More specifically, Johari of the Johar Valley, Askati of Askot, Babri of Ramnagar. Shigarhiali of Shigarka Danpuria of Donpur Gangoli of Ganai Gangoli, Gangoli hat. Johari of Mala and Tala Johar Kaspargia of Almora Kumaya of Champawat Pache of Pali Pachau Ranakat, Dwarahat, Pashchimi Faldakotia of Faldkot Raushobyansi, Nainital Sarali of Sarakat Didiot. Soriali of Sor Valley, Pithoragar. Sinjali of Jumla Valley, Nepal. Palpali of Palpa, Nepal. Baitata of Baitadi, Darchula, and parts of Bajang district in Nepal. Dotiali of Doti. Nepal scholars believe that Kumaoni has heavily influenced the Palpa language of Nepal. There are also several unrelated Tibeto Burman languages spoken in the Kumaon region which have had some influence from Kumaoni. Rang or Rung. Dharmiali Bangbanai These languages are typically spoken in upper reaches of Kumaon Himalayas. <laughs> Grammar Being part of the Indo-Aryan dialect continuum Kamauni shares its grammar with other Indo-Aryan languages, especially Nepali, Hindi, Rajasthani languages, Kashmiri and Gujarati. It shares much of its grammar with the other languages of the central Pahari like Garhwali and Jansari. The peculiarities of grammar in Kumaoni and other central Pahari languages exist due to the influence of the now extinct language of the Khasas, the first inhabitants of the region. In Kamauni the verb substantive is formed from the root ak, as in both Rajasthani and Kashmiri. In Rajasthani its present tense, being derived from the Sanskrit present rc chami, I go, does not change for gender. But in Pahari and Kashmiri it must be derived from the rare Sanskrit particle asterisk rc cheetahs, gone, for in these languages it is a participial tense and does change according to the gender of the subject. Thus, in the singular we have, here we have a relic of the old Khasa language, which, as has been said, seems to have been related to Kashmiri. Other relics of Khasa, again agreeing with northwestern India, are the tendency to shorten long vowels, the practice of a penthesis, or the modification of a vowel by the one which follows in the next syllable, and the frequent occurrence of disasperation. Thus, Khas Siknu, Kamauni Sikno, but Hindi Sikna, to learn, Kamauni Yeso, plural Yasa, of this kind. Topic. Verb conjugation. 
Conjugation of the verb lekh leka to write, in all three tenses in Kumaoni. Topic: Present tense. Singular plural. Topic: Past tense. Singular plural. Topic: Future tense. Singular plural. Topic: Example short phrases. Topic: Kumaoni literature. Kumaoni language has had many noteworthy writers. Prominent among them are. Shailish Matiani (1931–2001), Mohan Apreti (1925–1997). Topic: Media and Art. Topic: Films. Mega A first Kumaoni film. Director Kaka Sharma, produced S. S. Bisht, 1987 Terry San, first film both in Kumaoni and Garwali, written, produced, and directed by Anuj Joshi, 2003. Apan Baran by Sri Kartiki Sini Productions. Written by Rajendra Bora Jiri. Produced by Bhaskar Singh Ruwat, 2007. Madali by Anamika Film, 2008. Apka Liye, a 1985 TV show aired in Doordarshan directed by Sharbat Sanzer and presented by Mohan Manral showcases the Kumaoni Mela. Kotek. Topic: Theater. Kumaoni theater which developed through its Ramlila plays later evolved into a modern theater form with the efforts of theater stalwarts like Mohan Upreti, Naima Khan Upreti and Dinesh Pandey and groups like Parvatiya Kala Kendra started by Mohan Upreti and Parvatiya Lok Kala Manch Ankur of Lucknow did a very good work in the field of Kumaoni theater Ankur played a number of Kumaoni plays like Mi Yo Gayan Mi Yo Satkian writer Nand Kumar Upreti Puntori, by Charu Chandra Pandey, Motor Road, by Gavind Balab Pant, Labh Rabadi, writer Nand Kumar Upreti, Kagare Og, and Tumare Liye, by Himanshu Joshi, Kamauni translation Naveen Joshi and Kamauni Nataka Jaila Thai, Vila Pai at https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two oh one five one oh oh seven oh seven one oh four seven slash https colon slash slash navinjoshi one dot files dot wordpress dot com slash twenty fourteen slash oh seven slash jail dash tie dash wheel dash pi dot pdf etc. Topic folk music Folk song genres include ceremonial mandals, martial panweras and melancholy cutted, thadya and j hoda. Musical instruments used in Kumaon music include the dhol, damun, turi, ransinga, dolki, dor, tali, bankora and masakbaja. Tabla and harmonium are also used, but to a lesser extent. The music and its development have seen various phases of growth and have undergone lots of transformation during the course of time. Some prominent singers are Mohan Upreti, the most famous personality associated with Kumaoni folk music, who is known for his Nanda Devi Jagar and Rajula Malu Shahi ballad. He is famous for the great Kumaoni song Bedu Pako Baro Masa, which for many years the identity of the hills of Uttarakhand. It is said this song was also a favorite of Pandit Jawahar Lal Nehru who heard it in a band march as this song is also a popular marching song. Naima Khan Upreti, she was the wife of Mohan Upreti and was a prominent folk singer. Mohan Upreti and Naima Upreti used to sing folk songs as a duet and they also made the first HMV recording of songs like Bedu Pako and O Lali, O Lali Haushia. Naima Upreti had collected a large number of songs of the Kumaon and Garhwal region and she rendered them on several occasions. Sri Gopal Babu Goswami who is considered to be a legend in Kumaon for his melodious voice. 
His songs on the life of the members of the armed forces and their families like Kale Baj Maruli, Gufuti Na Basa Herda Cassettes and many others are legendary. It is said that when these songs were transmitted on All India Radio women could not help but weep when they heard the soul-touching voice of Gopal Da as he was lovingly called. Hira Singh Rana is identified as a contemporary poet and singer who touched upon various shades of hill life, particularly the plight of women. Besides beauty, love, and romance, his poetry illustrates pains and sufferings and are sharp in satire on the political class. In the early 90s, songs on the turning lifestyle, mainly on the one who are heading towards town, being made in which Mary Kamau Ki Gadi, Hit Mary Punjabin Billo Uttarakhand Pahara, Bwari Tamaku Pija, etc., criticize the changing attitude in Kumaoni society. The songs of Mohan Manral straight away criticize of the changing mindset of metropolitan Kumaoni society running away from their roots. However, in an attempt to revive the love for these songs, especially among the youth, unplugged or reprise covers of folk songs like, Haya Teri Rumala, Chana Bilori, Hit Dagadi Kamla, Guuti Na Baasa by several young artists like Siraj Verma, Gaurav Pandi, Priyanka Mare, etc. have been produced. These videos have been well received by the viewers on YouTube, with the number of views as high as 737k. Radio In 1962, a new program was introduced from Akashwani Lucknow. Uttarayana. This program was specially for the Chinese border area. J. Dev Sharma. Kamal. Banshidar Patak Jigyasu and Jeet Singh Jardari started this program. Najibabad Akashwani Kendra relayed this program. With the aim to create a common platform for local communities of Supi in Uttarakhand, Terry launched Kumon Vani, a community radio service on the 11th of March 2010. Uttarakhand Governor Margaret Alva inaugurated the community radio station, the first in the state. The Kumon Vani aims to air programs on environment, agriculture, culture, weather and education in the local language and with the active participation of the communities. The radio station covers a radius of 10 kilometers reaching out to almost 2,000 locals around Mukteshwar. In order to create a folk genome tank of Uttarakhand where one can find each genre and occasions in the form of folk music, and to bring the melodious folk from the heart of Himalaya on global screen, the very first internet radio of Kumon, Garwal, Jansar was launched in year 2008 by a group of non-resident Uttarakhandi from New York, which has been gaining significant popularity among inhabitants and migrants since its beta version was launched in year 2010. This was named after a very famous melody of hills of Himalaya, Bedupako Baramasa o Narain Kafal Pako Cheta Bedupako. See also Kumon Kamauni people List of languages by number of native speakers in India